Now we need to move to the base class. So what do we need in the base class? Even that's not a standard word. You can use any word. I'll show you what's the role of base class in my project. I'm coming here. So I'm going to create a base class here. Base class in base class we are going to define methods which are required to create web driver instance and also we can drop the web driver instance means I'm going to create a class which is going to create method for starting the web driver or for creating the web driver object and wherever required to close the web driver object. I'm just coming to my project here. Inside the SRC test Java, because whatever the Selenium code or the Java code we are going to write, that should be inside the SRC test Java. I'm going to create a package org testing word dot automation dot base. So that's package name. You can give any package name over here. As I enter here, you can notice a package is created. Inside this package, I'm going to create a class with the name create driver instance. And in this class, I'm going to create two methods, one for initiating the driver, one for closing the web driver, or I'll say closing the browser. So public void generate driver instance and that's my method name coming to the body now as i assume normally we are creating the web driver object like this web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver but here I don't want to generate Chrome driver only because it depends on the config file. Config file means I'll go to the config file here and check which browser user want to use. And accordingly, my driver instance will be created. So now first we need to read the data from the config file. For reading the data from the config file, we have a class with the name resource bundle. I need to create object of that so resource bundle and I'm giving the name config resource bundle dot get bundle here we need to pass the name of the file so if you notice name of the file is config dot properties we need not to give extension over here we just need to give file name so now object of that file is created I want to read the content from the file. So I'm reading the content config dot get string. Here we need to pass key means which data you want to read. So I want to read browser. So I just copy this. I want to read the data of the browser means I want to get the value in which is written in front of browser. So what I'm doing if config dot get string browser equals or you can use equals ignore case if that is a chrome then we need to create object of chrome driver so i'm handling the simple situation like this and if you want to make this driver to be used in the different conditions i can write it like this chrome driver driver and here i'm setting driver is equal to new chrome driver so as of now we have created instance of the web driver because my data is chrome so it's going to create chrome driver instance we can use more condition like else if using the same code pasting over here if the value is coming uh, firefox so i'm going to create instance of Firefox driver. So here I'm writing like driver is equal to new Firefox driver. And as of now, before that, we need to set the system.set property as well. I'm going to do that as well. Also, if you want to write like 
it might be possible in file it is mentioned i so you need to create object of the internet explorer driver if by mistake i did not mention chrome firefox i or i mentioned something else so at the end if nothing is mentioned or if any wrong value is mentioned i want to create object of chrome driver if incorrect value is there or nothing is happening or nothing is provided create object of the chrome driver as we know we need to set driver exe path here so i can set like system dot set property what is the property name in case of the chrome driver so it's a web driver chrome dot driver and from where the value is going to come it will come from dot slash means inside the project dot forward slash means in current project go to this driver folder so i'm mentioning driver and then chrome driver dot exe so chrome driver dot exe and the same line need to be written here in case of the else because i'm assuming if nothing is provided in my case run it on the chrome browser same we need to write in firefox and in firefox the property name is webdriver.geco so i'm mentioning geco.driver and here geco driver.exe as of now i did not place i for internet explorer driver.exe so you need to mention that file as well i'm just giving the path for the IE, you need to download that file and place it over there and webdriver.i.driver and here we need to give internet explorer driver. I'm just assuming this name. Once you are going to place that file, whatever the name of the file, you need to place it over here. So if I assume everything is done, a driver object will be created and after this condition handling i'm setting driver dot get i want to enter the url in the browser from the where this url is going to come if you notice we maintain our url here in this config file so what we can do to pass the url i'm using the same object like config dot get string so i'm using config dot get string which value you want to pick so i want to pick the value which is application url so i just pass it over here at the end i'm going to return the object of the web driver so i'm returning return driver so whenever anybody is going to call this method this method will create the instance of the driver and going to return it on place of void we need to mention web driver so one method is ready end to end which is going to create instance of the driver and going to return the value now i'm going to create one method to quit the driver so public void close driver and two option could be i want give me the web driver object which you want to close it so i'm asking for give me web driver object pass me the web driver object i'll pick that web driver object and going to quit the browser so now we have created two methods one for generating the driver instance and one for close driver instance so here two methods are ready for us to use in our test cases so in this session, we have seen how we can create a base class. Here we are going to defining a method which are required to create WebDriver instance and, and drop WebDriver instance. Also, we have seen how we can maintain our all the files in con, all the data, all the configurable data into the property file. In next session, we are going to create pages, which is to implement the POM, utility classes and the assertions. And then we are going to move to the test cases. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hello all. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have 
any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india